Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 5 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series. So today we're going to talk about how to create guides and change measurements inside of InDesign. So over here at the top you see the ruler and if you do not see it press Ctrl R on your keyboard or go to Windows and then select ruler uh, right there. So alright so just go to view and then uh, you can say hide rulers or show ru rulers just like that. So I have my ruler right here and by default uh, this is in pikers. As you can see, the measurement is in pikers. So if you want to change the measurement, what you can simply do is you can right click on the ruler pad and you can see that you can change it to centimeters or you can change it to uh, points, uh, that is the uh, pixel uh, right there. You can change it to inches and so forth. So if I'm uh, comfortable with inches, then I'm just going to select that. And that is how you change the uh, measurements inside of InDesign. So over here, what you can also do is you can set a cost custom uh, uh, measurement unit so you can select each pixel for uh, measurement unit so let's say if I were to say 100 points then it has um, around uh, one uh, one measurement unit for 100 pixels so I'm just gonna select inches right here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some guides so for that what you simply do is from the ruler just drag in a guide and leave it onto the page and you have something called a page guide so you can just click and drag it over here and you have something called a pace guide and you can create a lot of the, it for design cons consistency. Just drag it over here and you see you have a pace guide just like that. And if you want an overall guide, what you can just simply do is drag it outside. So if I were to go outside of the pace and drag it down, you can see that I have an overall guide just like that, which runs across the overall pace. So that is how the guides work. So now uh, the benefit of the guide is that if you were to draw a shape or keep an object right here, it actually snaps right onto the place just like that and you can see that. So if I were to cl click and drag this, you can be absolutely sure that the length of the two objects is exactly the same. So if I were to click and drag this, you can see that this actually creates a shape just like this. And if I were to click and drag it, you can see that it actually uh, absolutely creates shape according to that guide just like that. So just click and drag it over here. Just click and drag over here and that creates a shape just like that. And sometimes that might, this might be disabled. So for that, what you can simply do is you can go to view and you can turn off uh, grid, in the grids and guides. You can just uh, turn off snap to guides and it'll actually turn this off. So you can see that now this actually does not snap onto guides over here. So now if you want it to snap onto guides, so you can just go to snap to guides. And then once you do that, it'll snap right back onto the guide just like that and it'll snap on right to the edge of the guide uh, for design consistency. And if, I were to, if you were to go to view and go to get some um, grids and guides and do hide guides, you can see that the, the this creates a very, very unique and uh, consistent design just like that. So that is how you can uh, change the measurements inside of Adobe InDesign and use guides for design consistency. Hope you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.